Hello friends, the vlogs are back. So let's go through some of the things that I've been doing the last couple of weeks because I haven't updated you guys in a while. I'm sitting on the floor to do some makeup because I have to do some content today and I will show you guys what I do for content because people have been asking me how do I get free stuff, which I made a whole video on how I get free stuff and PR and I do a little bit of work on the side. I do still have my tech job, so it is just a side gig for now and I had to put on some makeup to look presentable for those pieces since they're going directly to the brand. We're not doing a whole lot of makeup, just a little bit. I've had a really busy couple of weeks, which is why I had a lot of sit down videos that I kind of just planned out. I like to plan out my content in advance and make sure that I am still keeping up to a schedule on my YouTube channel because that's how I feel growth is the most possible on YouTube. YouTube is actually still my favorite platform, even though I do work on the side for UGC content and I do a little bit of Instagram, but not a whole lot. This past weekend, I had the joy of going to Lollapalooza in Chicago. I have been just loving festivals. I think I'm in my festival era. I struggled with festivals a bit when I was in college because they're hard. They're a lot of work, they're expensive, but these days I, have the money to do it and I have the energy to do it. So it's been really, really fun to go to festivals. At Lollapalooza, I got to see some of the most amazing artists and I got to see them with my best friend, my sister. It's always so fun to see the best artists at festivals because they do more of their hits and they are shorter, if you know what I mean. Like they just do their hits without having to do their like deep tracks. So if you just know an artist a little bit, then you get to see them with their best songs. My favorite person to see this weekend. I really loved Galantis. I loved Tate McRae, she's really good. I loved SZA, of course. Oh, how could I forget SZA? SZA was so good. She had a really long set because she was a headliner, but she sang pretty much every song like she only has two albums or three albums i believe and she sang almost every song and she definitely sang every song i knew i listened to control a lot when i was in college and i listened to sos pretty frequently in the last couple of years so i was really happy and excited to see her i had considered vlogging some of it but it was just so hot and my phone kept dying quickly because it was so hot and so it just wasn't worth it I'm a big lover of Coachella, so I spent the entire time pretty much comparing Lollapalooza to Coachella. I do think Coachella is more my vibe, but Lollapalooza was really, really fun. And maybe in the future I'd go again. Hopefully if a brand sends me, I would love to go again because Chicago is really cute. I love Chicago in the summer, so maybe another time. Let's talk about my outfits. So I made sure to rewear my outfits. I wasn't gonna buy brand new outfits for Lollapalooza. I don't think anybody should buy brand new outfits for festivals. I think you should rewear and you should thrift as much as possible because <sighs> so much of festival outfits and one-time use outfits gets put in the landfill. So on Friday and Saturday, which are the two days I went, Friday I wore this outfit that I had had for years and I wore it to Izu a couple of years ago. And then on Saturday, I wore this top that I wore at Coachella two years ago, and then these shorts that I just love. I sweat through everything. So these shorts, embarrassing to say, but I got them sopping wet in my sweat because it was so hot. I remember standing because I was listening to Ray. Ray is such an incredible vocalist, but she kind of talks a lot. And I remember standing there in between her songs and being like, I have swamp ass, like there is so much sweat everywhere soaking up in these jeans. Anyways, I'm back now on the East Coast and it is still pretty hot here too. So I am blasting the AC and I'm gonna try to get my content done inside, but for one of the pieces I wanna be outside so I might have to go out into the yard and it's so hot. Uh, my hair is just not having it because I got back so late last night and then I had to work this morning so my hair has just not been cooperating with this heat, but it's okay. I'll probably put it mostly up for the content just so that ooh, it gets out of my way. Speaking of which, let me go through some of the PR that I received this week because it's not one of my vlogs if there's not a PR haul. 
I've been going through and decluttering a lot, so I don't have as much PR in my storage, which is really good. I think I shouldn't be like hoarding those things. One of my favorite PRs that I received this week, Touchland hand sanitizers. I love how slim they are. They are a little bit wide, so they're not for all of my little mini purses, but I'm excited to try these. I think I'm gonna post this on my story for them. Give by Gwen Stefani. I think that's how you pronounce it. They sent me a bunch of their stuff. The Check My Glow palette is one of my favorite palettes. I've been using it nonstop. I use it as like an eyeshadow and as like highlighter. And then look at this reds. Like this is their high performance satin lipstick. This is their light wear, long wear matte liquid lipstick. Also stunning color. This is the Pout To Get Real Overlining Lip Pencil. And then this is the high performance matte lipstick. Oh, is this the same one? No, this one's satin, this one's matte. I like that. So they're all in the same color original recipe. And then this one is called Say Whatever. I'm loving these names. I am a fan of these and I do love Gwen Stefani, so excited. And then I got a couple of things from Sephora. I do like the Sephora, it's gonna be lots of stuff. They have their face set brush set. So it comes with five brushes. It has the foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, and highlighter brush. And it comes in this cute little case. I might give this case to my sister because this past weekend I saw that her makeup case was in shambles. She needs a new makeup case. They sent me their Sika Repair Cream. Oh, I might need this because it says it's for face, body, and lips. Interesting, I've never seen face and body and lips. I've only seen face and body, but this is interesting. My skin has been really irritable recently and I think it's because of just being sweaty and wearing tight clothes in the summer and then they sent me this uh eyeliner and this color I don't know if you can see it but it's like a green I've been into eyeliners recently I used to never wear eyeliner because I was so nervous about it oh you know what this would have been so fun at Lollapalooza but I'm in my eyeliner phase so I might try this one out and then this one also really fun this is their hydrating and plumping lip caps and you'll see that it's from peppers so i'm gonna try this out later too just because it's so fun luckily i've been blessed with just a little bit of lip it's a little bit juicy i don't have to like get filler or anything like that i got it from my mama this just looks so fun and then curology has sent me a couple things except the box that it was in got kind of busted so oops this is the acne cleanser this is the acne care kit and this is their emergency spot patches Oh, and then one more, this is a moisturizer. So that's been really fun. A couple of other things, Verb Dandruff Shampoo, and then Origins Youthtopia. This is their refining apple peel. So thank you to those brands for sending me stuff. I will link everything down below and a link to my video on how I get free PR with almost no following. So check that out if you're interested in it. Otherwise, now I have to create some content. So I have, three brands that I'm working with this week for content and I'm sending them the initial draft of my stuff. One of them is this sunglass brand. They sent me a pair to take some pictures in. And so I'm going to, actually, I think it's a reel. So I have to make some content for that. And then I have a boba kit mix that I've been sent, it's taro flavor. So I'm really excited to do a collab with this brand. Let's just start with sunglasses and see where we go. All my friends are like, I don't have the aesthetic. I don't have the materials to be a UGC content, content creator, but literally this is how easy it is. Like this is just a piece of furniture at my parents' house right now. And I am just using the backdrop to focus on the sunglasses. And then now I am using my tripod here to just take some clips of myself putting on the sunglasses just so that they have a better sense of what they're getting as it's put on me because these are special sunglasses for low bridge noses and then i'm going to take a little bit of content shot of just like sunglasses being used in my purse being used in every day and that's kind of what people are looking for generally. They don't want anything that's too editorial. They don't want anything that looks like they paid too much to get it done at like a photo shoot. They want something that looks natural. Like people are just creating content on it naturally. Like people are vlogging on TikTok. So that's just kind of what I bring to the table. The second brand that I'm working with here is this Boba Tea Instant Mix. 
So I just made some for myself from the taro flavor. I took some shots here. Our kitchen is not clean right now, but I just used this little segment here. So I stood between here and here, and that way it looks super clean without all this other stuff being distracting. With this here, um, you'll see that I don't have like a nice backdrop to put this on. So I'll put it on my comforter. I think this looks really cute. So I have this here and then if the brand doesn't allow me to use other like logos, like this logo here, I'll cover it up in the slip. I'll cover it up like this and then try to use other products with no logos on it. And yeah, honestly, that's it. It only took me about an hour to do all three pieces of content. For those brands, luckily the three brands asked for very minimal content. They wanted something that's just like my own style. So that's all it took. And then I'll take some time to edit them, probably on my computer, maybe on my phone. And then yeah, move on to the next brief, which I have a couple more to do later this week, but that's it for now. I'm going to finish up some computer work and then later I'm going to a bar class. Waiting around for you to call back Pacing around my room and my dad Crazy, crazy I want you to know what you have against me The city is not the place for us to be going right now to get a new camera. I've been using my phone for most of my channel, but I think it's time for a little bit of an upgrade. So I am treating myself. I'm not sure if this location will have the exact one that I'm looking for, but at the very least, it'll give me some info and then I can go pick it up at a different location or possibly buy it online. because I finally got this. I've been wanting this for months and months and I just have been telling myself like, it's not worth it because I haven't been making a whole lot of money with my content and you know, like, are you really gonna use it more than your phone? Like, you love filming on your phone, but I don't know. I just feel like I want to treat myself and me unboxing this, it reminds me more and more of why I want it because I wanted to, film this unboxing both for my youtube and for my tiktok but i can't since on my iphone i'm filming horizontally and then for tiktok i need vertically but if i have this i can film everything for my youtube on this and then some things for my tiktok on it and then most things for my tiktok i'll use my phone ah, i'm so excited um so let's unbox this the guy at the store was like this is like the fastest sale ever because i went in there like knowing full well that i wanted to get it and i had built up the courage so i went in there he did a little demo for me but i was like i already know everything about this like i have known for so long that i wanted this so you know ring it up <gasps> Ooh. okay this comes with a lot of stuff I'm really excited to be using the app and then um, let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is the case for if I want to carry it not in the little bag case. And so he showed me how to use this because it's like a good cover, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of like having an iPhone cover where I can just shut it in here and then the lens is protected. So this is nice. And then in this bag, we have, you know what? I'm just gonna rip it. I want it so bad. <gasps> oh yeah. I like how compact this is. It's so cute. Honestly, this is less than the amount of makeup I carry on vacations. So meet my new friend. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look how small this is. This is literally the size of my hand. It's smaller than my phone. I got the creator set. So it comes with an extra battery pack and then a little tripod. And then I also bought a, you know what? I'm gonna do a price breakdown for anybody who's on the fence about this because I have been looking at it for so long and I'll just tell you everything. 
So the creator combo is $6.69. So it comes with the camera, this case, the wide angle lens, the battery pack, the mic, and the little mic poof. On top of that, I got a 128 SAN gigabyte disc. So that's for the memory, the SAN disc, sorry. And that one is $24.99. I'm sure it's cheaper somewhere else, but I just wanted it instantly to use this camera. And then I got the one year refresh, they call it. It's kind of like an insurance. So if at any point I do break this by dropping it or mishandling it, that is $35. So they will not replace everything for $35. It's twice in the one year. And I st still have to pay a little bit more, but just significantly less than if I were to just buy a brand new one, obviously. And then they told me that I can re-up that every year. So every year that I still want those two times to allow me to get it refurbished, if it's kind of like broken or janky, then they will allow that in the next year. So I'm really excited to use that. Officially a YouTuber now that I have one of these. Okay, it's been a couple hours and I have finally gotten around to putting my SD card in and learning the settings. So I'm gonna do my first official video. Ah, we're gonna try it out and see. Let's compare the video qualities. Put these two side by side. Hello. Okay, so this one on this right side is my phone and the one on the left is my new Osmo Mini. What is this called? What are I getting? Osmo Pocket 3 and I hope the quality is so much better. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!